Welcome back. Let's solve lead code 1572 matrix diagonal sum. The question is simple here. Given a matrix uh, like this or something like this, 4 by 4, 3 by 3, <clears throat> or a single number. So whatever the matrix is, it's always n by n, which means that equal number of as many rows, as many columns, right? So for what we are required to do is we are required to take the sum of all the elements on the diagonal. Okay, so in this example, for we'll take the sum of one, five, nine, three, and seven. Remember, five comes twice in both the diagonal, but we'll take it only once. The center element comes twice, right? <clears throat> Similarly, when there is a four by four, which which is an even number. You can see there is no overlapping like we have seen in three by three, which is an odd number. So every time there is an even number, there will not be any overlapping. Like in this example, we'll add one plus one plus one plus one. And again, one plus one plus one plus one. How are we going to solve this? Let's look into it. So what I can do is from the observation itself, I can consider that I can go through each row and for the first row, I'll take the first element and the last element, add them up and put it in my variable where I'm storing the sum. For the second row, I'll increment the left by one, the right uh, by reduce the right by one and then add that those numbers in the third row again add move left by one and reduce right by one and that's how i'll iterate through this i'll add it up and finally if it's an odd number of rows then i reduce one uh, center value because it is getting added twice it is uh, the left hand side is also on it and the right hand side is also on it right so how am i going to code this simple i'm going to say first of all keep a variable s keep it at zero this will uh, i'll be storing the sum in this i'll keep a left counter which will be at zero i'll keep a right index which will be at length of matrix minus one this will give me the last index and then i'll loop through or i can just say for row n matrix it will loop through each row okay and then simply i'll add up to sum what will i add Mm, index L of row, the value at index L of row plus the value at index R of row. Okay, I'll keep on doing this, and after doing it, I'll increment L by one and decrement R by one, right. So this loop will go on for all the rows, add it all the numbers, and then I'll check if length of mat and one, if it is odd, this expression will give me odd. If it turns out to be true, it will give me odd. And one is a binary way of figuring if it is odd. It's similar to person two, but person two gives me even. This gives me odd. So uh, I can end up mat and one. So if it is odd, then I'll simply reduce the center number from my answer. So I'll do minus matrix. Right, 
uh, I'll take the center. How will I take the center? That will length of matrix divided by two. Same with this length of matrix divided by two. Right. So this will be subtracted, and finally I return the answer. Let's run and see. It worked for all three cases, submitting it. Worked in 84 milliseconds, better than 28%. Let's look at the best solution. They're doing in exactly the same way as we are doing. Let's look at some more solutions. Again, same way. So this is the most optimum way to solve this problem. 1572 matrix diagonal sum.